ain't worried about nothing. So you ain't worried about nothing, but taking a piss. Bitch, you ain't worried about nothing, but it's ball. Stepping in shit. I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for snitches. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new review on the Roshi Runs right here. Here's the shoe, here's the box. For everyone that loves seeing the box, there you go. This is the new Nike Sportswear box, which I am a fan of. They needed to switch it up, it's been a while. And here's the shoe right here in Petra Brown, Red, and Black. Retailing for $70. I did a vlog talking about how I feel about this shoe and explaining how it went from me not wanting to ever wear the shoe to wanting this shoe right here. Basically what the deal was with this shoe to make a long story short. I really wasn't into this shoe but I've seen this colorway and it made me want the shoe. Now for everyone that's seen the vlog that wants to hear more about my thoughts on it I'll speak more about that toward the end of the video. I want to review the shoe, show them one feet and then we'll go there for anyone else that's still interested to hear more. <laughs> so let's get into it. The upper is like this nylon kind of material. There is some support a little bit over here. You can feel. But the rest of it is very flimsy. As you can see. And you have this kind of like tiger camo right here. Really love the colorway. Then you've got seems like a synthetic kind of like leather material on the swoosh get a pull strap right there and on the back with the Nike swoosh right there here's the insole super thin I'm shocked actually that the insole is this thin you would think that they would at least give you like a thick insole for it being this Rochi run shoe that people are praising saying is so comfortable and then last but not least, as you can see, you got your sole, which is one piece right here. And my opinion on the comfortability of the shoe, I think that it's comfortable, but I mean, at the end of the day, I think people are saying it's comfortable just because of the fact that the upper is really nothing. It's just this nylon and it's like your foot is sitting on a sole. So I think that's why a lot of people are saying it's comfortable. I mean. It's like you're wearing some slides with, you know, a nylon over. And I know that some of the materials are not this material. Some are different kinds of materials. So, in the other cases of other versions of this Roshi run here. I'm going to talk more about my thoughts of this shoe right after I show them on feet real quick though. So let's do that and we'll be right back. Alright, here we go with the on feet look. Let me know what you think of these right here. As far as the fit, I would say I think they run true to size now that I got these on my feet. When I tried them on at first at the store, I got a nine and they were kind of snug and it was, now that I think about it, the reason why they were snug was because I was wearing some NBA socks. I was wearing a pair of Jordan 6's I think and um, you know, I was wearing some thick NBA socks so of course it's gonna fill in on a shoe like this so now that I'm just wearing some standard Nike socks I think I should have definitely went size 9 on these and not 9 and a half but it's not that serious I'm still gonna wear them you know you get more of your size it's gonna fill in more over here I don't really like the loose wrinkly look over here not that hot right there in my opinion kind of whack um, but far away you can't even tell you know what I mean just from looking up I notice it but it ain't that serious and I think the shoe is comfortable. I think people are ODing, hyping the shoe up. And my science behind the whole deal with this shoe is I think people are hyping up the shoe because of the fact that it's more affordable. And people want this to be a popular shoe if it's more affordable, you know? And hey, get in where you fit in, you know what I mean? I mean, if this price point is more up your alley, go ham, you know what I mean? Pick up all the colors if you like it, whatever makes you happy. That's all this sneaker thing is all about. All this is about what you like to wear, what makes you feel good when you're out and about, you know what I mean? And the shoe is comfortable, I'm not saying the shoe is not comfortable, but um, people are just ODing, I think. They're completely ODing. Um, I was talking to my homegirl and she was telling me, you know, these are so comfortable, she kept telling me. And I was like, these are more comfortable than a pair of Air Maxes? And what'd she tell me? Well, a pair of Air Maxes don't cost $70. So, you know what I mean? That's what I think a lot of people are looking at this whole Roshi run wave as, you know, the fact that they are more affordable, people are more attracted to this shoe right here. And you know how we do. 
with all that talk going on, there's only one more thing that needs to be done. The infamous burp, 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 my opinion on the shoe, the shoe's definitely an overhyped shoe because of the fact that it is a Nike shoe that is affordable. I think the shoe is comfortable. Will I be buying more colorways of this shoe? Probably not. Um, don't need, you know, to do that. I have a lot of different colors of different shoes already, so there's no need for me to have the shoe. I'm not in love with the shoe, but I love this colorway right here. And um, that's basically my thoughts on the shoe right here. And check out that vlog if you have not, where I basically just talk more about my original thoughts. Happy to have this shoe though. Think it looks sick on feet. Leave your comments so let me know what you think about what I've said. Let me know what you let me know what you think about the actual shoe itself. Do you think this is a hot shoe or do you think this shoe is just whatever? A lot of nicknames are beginning to surface on this shoe. Some people are calling it the Freddy Krueger. Because, you know, the brown and then the red hits, like, kind of, like, slashing. I can see that. Some people are calling this the mangoes. I can't see that at all. I mean, there's no mango color to it. This is red, and the only other color I can see besides red would be pink and not mango. So, I don't see where the mango is, but if that's what you want to call it, call it what you want to call it. I say that all the time. And with that said, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Check out my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Follow me on Instagram, Team DJ Dells. And make sure to go to my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, for your sneaker news. Take advantage of my work. And with that said, I'll be back. Really, really.